What is going on guys? Philip here with another product review and today I got the T2 Pro from Infrared. Guys, this thing's super small. Um, this is going to be used for a lot of applications out there for a lot of people who don't do what we do. If you follow the channel, we chase pigs and coyotes and we're usually using like, you know, probably on average a $6,000, $5,000 optic and to use something that's $420 Usually we would think it'd be junk. You know, the last cheapest thermal I think I looked through was that loophole tracker they came out with, you know, five, six years ago, and that thing was junk. And it was 800 bucks, 900 bucks. Uh, infrared contacted me and see if I could run this. And I was like, man, I don't think this would be worth crap, but screw it, send it to me, I'll see what I can do. I'm not gonna put something out there. I'm not gonna be, I don't, I run every thermal optic out there. I'm not a sellout, I'm not gonna, uh, just sell you on one product. I'm going to talk about all the products out there um, There's some I don't just because I know they're junk and there's no reason for me to even do a review over them But I was like man, I'll see it. And I told him I was like if it's junk I'm not gonna put a review over it. I'm, I'm just not gonna talk about it. So uh, I opened it up and I plugged it in I was inside and I could see the dog I could see my wife and I was like man this thing's pretty clear But you know, it's 10 feet almost every thermal is clear at 10 feet I was like, let me go outside, and I saw the cows. The cows were about 100 yards, 150 yards, and I was like, hey, this ain't bad. I mean, really, it, for the price, guys, I know it's not as clear as most thermals, but you got to think, this is like the 20th of the price. I mean, 10th of the price of some optics. And to be in this small, I mean, this is the size of like a thermal drone camera. It's absolutely insane, but for being that cheap, this small, and that clear, that's pretty dang good. And it's been humid lately. So, you know, imagine if you get in those uh, states that are, you know, there's not that much humid, it'd be even clearer. But um, I was very impressed right out of the box with it. Um, you just download an app, you plug it in, and you use your phone as a screen to look through it. And uh, the focus is right here. It's really easy to use. That's it. I mean, they, they come with some accessories. I haven't used them just because I feel like it's more acceptable, uh, accessible, accessible for uh, using the case. I just broke it. No, I'm playing. Uh, but just pulling out of the case, you know, it comes with this hard case, put it in your pocket, plug it in your phone. Uh, you could use this grip. Uh, you hook your phone to it, and then you just scan with it like this. I don't, I mean, I'm not, if that that's not to be something you want to use, I'm not. I'm on about just plugging in a phone and using it. You do have to take your phone case off. I have a very thin phone case, uh, and I even had to take it off. That's the only downside I see with this thermal. Um, but, you know, super easy. Put this in your pocket. You know, it's not going to break. Uh, put this in your pocket and use it whenever you want to. Uh, I can mainly see this, guys, for, you know, your guys who are about to go in the deer stand this weekend uh, for the opener or or you know, maybe even in the rifle stand in November. Um, if you're walking to your stand, I do this a lot with my other thermals. Uh, when I'm walking to the stand, I will walk with my thermal, and there's times where there's been deer bedded down between me and my blind, and I've had to walk all the way around. Instead of bumping those deer, it's helped out a lot. Um, also, you know, say you don't make the greatest shot, or you do feel like you make a great shot, and you walk up to that deer and you have a flashlight, and say it's not a great shot, and he gets up and runs. Well, with this, you could get up probably about 150 yards from that animal, and if he says heads up or something like that, oh, I need to back out. Don't push him. And you, that way you don't have a light in um, scaring that animal away, or just help you find it. If you know it's a good shot, help you find it. You know, this is it's crazy. You know, if you don't see that belly up, you know, that white, uh, maybe he's, he's – He's down and all you see is back. He blend in, especially when the fall comes and everything's brown. You know, they blend in that grass so well. So you'll be able to see that th uh, thermal uh, temperature off through that grass or through those leaves and be able to pick it up that much faster. Um, I use it in the stand. Um, there's times where, you know, you're using binos and you're just really trying to look. I grab my thermal and I just scan and, oh, there's something. Then I look at binos. It's it's so much easier to use a thermal than it is binos to me. Um, you do do look at your local uh, state laws if you can do that. Um, maybe call your game warden or something. Uh, they'll help you out. I know in Texas we're allowed to. Um, 
daytime. You just not at nighttime. You can't you can't be putting that as an optic at night. We all know that, but uh, <laughs> you know that I use this a lot just to find them. And you know, especially if you're out of west, mule deer going after mule deer or something like that. Man, taking a thermal and scanning is so much easier. There's so many times that you know those animals blend into those backgrounds that you don't even know. Um, I could use this a lot. So last last night I used it. Um, I had some coyotes howling, and we're just getting out cabin. So um, I took it out, and I could see they were way out there. I didn't know what they were. I knew that it wasn't. We don't really have much deer around here. Usually, if I see something, it's going to be a pig or a coyote. And I saw three things. You know walking and i was like okay those were probably the coyotes so i went and got my they were probably five six hundred yards i couldn't tell what they were i could tell there was something out there that was shouldn't be there and uh I grabbed my good optic sure enough it was coyote and he came all the way up to the house like 70 yards 50 yards and then uh i used this to find them so you know this thing can be used for many things just for even if you're in the city and you want to see something in the backyard that's messing around, you know, you don't want to scare, you don't know what it is, armadillo, rabbit, whatever, messing with your garden or something, you know, you could use this. Um, it does plug into iPad or Android. So that's a good thing. It, uh, they do have two different models. Uh, just picked one that is uh, for you. But for $429, you know, that is really not a bad optic. I'm getting identification range about 300 yards on cows about 200 to 100 yards on pigs and coyotes 100 percent identification i know what that is i'm not guessing at it so in reality that's really not bad um you know for most optics it's usually a little about about three four hundred yards so you know to get that 150 yard range to tell what it is it's not bad for being so small, that's what's crazy to me. It's being this small, this cheap, it's not that bad, you know. Um, and I could see this, you, you know, go comment down below what you could use this for. I've tried to think of ways that people could use thermal. There's so many different things out there. Thermal's changing, and, you know, people use this for so many different applications. So comment down below what you think it could be, um, what you could use this for. Uh, my main thing is, you know, probably just, you know, finding animals that have already been down. Something easy that I can just put in my pocket and not worry about. Um, and I always have my phone on me. It doesn't drain the battery too bad on my phone. Um, I've never been, haven't had an issue of that. Um, but, you know, it's not bad, guys. Really not bad. Look at that guy. It's <laughs> crazy. But, um that's all I have. Real quick, easy video. If you are looking to get a thermal or, you know, you're not like us and want to use it for, you could think of things to use this thermal for, you know, go ahead and get it, guys. I highly recommend this, especially for your budget-minded guys who just can't spend a lot of money or not going to be using it a lot. You know, definitely look at the T2 Pro. Uh, I believe Nugget Night Vision, uh, that's where I get all my thermals through, uh, will have about you know, thousands of these. So uh, I think he ordered them. They should be here soon. So go ahead and check his website out for them. See if they're in stock. But until next time, God bless.